Laka, welcome back to the game design course here with Zach Edwards hosting today. So today we're going to be talking about Kraus Cuba. He is a German, the German that actually created Settlers of Catan. If you know any European games, you'll know that Settlers of Catan is the most popular one in the United States being sold so much that in the interview that's actually part of this course, uh, Kraus, Klaus will actually talk about how his game will be one of the most highest producing revenue wise of any game in history. That's what he claims. I don't know how that is considering we have like Monopoly Scrabble that has been like so popular over the ages. So I'm going to bring you through a little bit of Krause's history. So he has a great history. Woo. Let me get those glasses on. There we go. Okay. So he has a great history when it comes to his family in 1980s. He lived um, and worked as a dental assistant. Now, he did not like his job whatsoever. So what did he do? When he came home, he decided that he was going to design a world of his own. It wasn't just going to be a world. It was going to be made into a game. So this was a make-believe island where he's able to uh, basically bring the resources and everything that he would need to survive. And so it became a game when he started putting the pieces together and playing with his kids. Now his biggest, his kids are actually some of his biggest supporters and they actually work for his business. One of them in Germany, one of them in the United States. Um, so they are selling this all over the place with internet sales. They're selling huge amounts of uh, product, not just the game, but also other things that have to do with Settlers of Catan. Uh, I think they even said there's socks. Settlers of Catan socks. Sweet. I want some historical conquest socks. Who can uh, send me a link if you know where to where I can get them. <laughs> Anyways, so I guess this dental assistant who got bored with cleaning people's teeth became fascinated with game design. And so he actually game designed like six European popular games. One of them that's only made it, only one of them's made it in the United States. But I mean, it's a good thing he was able to get it out. Now he actually sold it to another company to license or license it to another company to sell in the United States. Now, um, over in this area, you'll see a bunch of questions that'll basically help help you use his experience to help you in your game design. So go through that. Um, the next thing, so what kind of board would you like? Would you like one cardboard square or rectangle board? Basically, this is the normal board that you fold in half, you put in a box. You can also fold it into four pieces. The problem is, is that it's a paper product. With all paper products, they break. They um, warp if you get, they get wet. There's all these different problems. So the, uh, the next one, well, the next one is also has a lot of products of the paper product. But there's separate pieces that make up a board. Now, Settlers of Catan, um, there's a few more out there, but we're going to talk about Settlers because this is the one we're playing with. Settlers is actually one that you take different pieces to develop your own island. And you can actually shape it different ways. Most of the time, people shape it the same way. It's how Klaus, Klaus actually put it together. Um, so going on, you can also do a roll-up playmat. Now, Historical Conquest loves using roll-up playmats because they're almost indestructible. Now, of course, they're not indestructible. Close to it, though, especially when it comes to using uh, a child or a student, a youth. Um, they can't tear it. They can't ruin it with moisture. Um, all these different things, they're supposed to be well durable. And the other way to make it very durable almost just as much because even plastic you can crack is to use a plastic board now plastic is a, an expensive product um, you have to create molds for it you have to do all these different things to create this plastic um, board paper is very cheap very inexpensive making separate pieces probably just a slightly more because it has a little bit more die cuts which is basically where they cut on the, the board so there's a few more of those Roll up play mats, yeah, it's expensive because we do it in the United States. If we did it outside the United States, it might be a little bit cheaper. And we're probably going to go to that 
but just not right now. Okay, so that's your deciding what kind of game game board you want. Come down a little bit farther, you have next week's prep, which is creating your board. Now we're going to walk you through this, but this is when it gets really exciting because we're going through the actual actions of creating a prototype of the game you design. So again, you can get the interview of um, the man behind Catan, how to play Citadel sort of Catan. Here are some of the different versions of Catan and also some websites to check out, including Catan and BoardGameGeeks.com. Now here also you have click here for activities, create your layout. Let's create your layout. Okay, so you can draw it on a piece of paper and we're gonna, we can transfer that onto a board. Or you can pr basically produce it on Adobe Photoshop, and we can show you how to overcome paying anything. It's totally free. But if you want to keep it, because you only get it for one month, if you want to keep it, you get it for nine ninety nine per month. That's pretty cheap for a. Uh, they used to sell them for like six hundred dollars per box, and it's a lot more advanced than it used to be. But we're gonna, if you go through these steps right here, and I'm covering part of them, so I won't read it. But you'll be able to use Photoshop or create by hand and create your board, your perfect board. Now again, this is a prototype of what your board would actually look like. Um, if, you, if you go through this whole course and you want one of our contacts, we can send you our, some of our illustrators so that they can help you design your board. Um, so moving on, again, there's tutorials, YouTube tutorials of how to use Photoshop to design your board. Okay, and the next one is the one that's really exciting. People have been waiting for this. This is where we'll actually walk you through creating our board, the prototype board. That's right. We're going to transfer the layout onto a piece of cardboard. Or for us, if we wanted to, we could have our um, playmat designer, playmat producer, manufacturer. They'll actually print us prototypes. And if you make it through this course, I'll probably send you the, uh, the contact information for, for them. His name is Brainy. Awesome guy. So um, email me if you would like that contact. Again, you have to be part of the course in order to get that contact. But, and if you're seeing this video, you're part of the, con uh, the, uh, the group, I guess, because only you guys can see this. But again, we're going to take you through normal cardboard, using glue to create your layout, and going through all the steps. This is uh, the YouTube we're going to focus on. And these are the materials that you need. So if you have any questions with this week's course, please email me. Sorry this is a little bit short, but we're going to be doing two more videos on this same topic, being the creating your layout and creating your board. So stay tuned. We'll, give, we'll uh, get back to you as soon as possible with those two videos. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.